Risk of infection. The following are important points that we would like to talk about in the next few minutes. Your cancer treatment may put you at a higher risk for infection. Keep a thermometer at home to check your temperature if you feel unwell. A fever is a temperature of 38.3 degrees Celsius or higher at any time or if your temperature is 38 degrees Celsius or higher for one hour or more. Please go to the emergency if you suspect you have a fever. Your cancer medication will affect cancer cells but also can affect healthy cells. Because of your cancer therapy, your body's ability to produce white blood cells will decrease. There are many types of white blood cells in your body, and they all help fight infection in different ways. When your white blood cells are low, your chance for getting an infection is higher. Your cancer care team will often talk about your ANC, or the absolute neutrophil count in your blood work results. This count or number tells us about your body's ability to continue producing an important type of white blood cell, the neutrophil. The lower your neutrophil count, or ANC, the greater your chance of an infection. If you have an infection while your neutrophil count is very low, you can become very sick and may need to be hospitalized. There are some prevention strategies you may want to consider to reduce your risk for infection. Eat well and maintain good nutrition and hydration. Keep your body clean and make sure that any open sores or wounds on your skin are treated quickly. Clean your hands frequently with soap and water or by using hand sanitizer. Maintain your vaccinations. If it is influenza season and you have not received your influenza vaccination, talk to your family doctor and your cancer care team to see if it is right for you. Avoid people who are sick and areas with lots of people who can pass you their illnesses. If you go to public or crowded areas, be aware that germs can be passed from people who have sick symptoms to the same surfaces and places that you are touching. Cleaning your hands is especially important at these times. If there are family members or young children in your home whom are sick, try to limit your contact with them when they are very sick and showing a lot of symptoms. If it is not possible to do so, then it becomes even more important to follow the prevention strategies outlined previously. Wearing a mask as a means of protecting yourself is a personal choice but it is not a necessity. If someone at home is sick and in close proximity to you, then a mask for them or for yourself may be somewhat helpful, but it may not always protect you. It is important to have a thermometer at home when you are on cancer treatment. Ideally, the thermometer measures the temperature in your mouth. Take your temperature if you should feel hot or unwell have chills, or if you suspect you have an infection. Your thermometer will tell you if you have a fever, which could be the first sign of an infection. You have a fever if your temperature is 38.3 degrees Celsius or higher at any time, or if your temperature is 38 degrees Celsius or higher for one hour or more. Do not ignore your fever symptoms even if you don't feel sick. Having a fever may be the only sign of a serious infection in your body. It may not be accompanied by other symptoms of illness. If you have a fever, it needs to be assessed right away, and this can only be done by the emergency team. If you are diagnosed with an infection, it will require antibiotics, and sometimes the antibiotics you require may have to be given through the vape. Sometimes, you may have to be admitted into the hospital. If you're not close to North York General Hospital, go to the hospital closest to you. Make sure you can provide them with the necessary information regarding the name of your cancer treatment, the last treatment day, and the name of your oncologist. 
As long as the emergency department knows what cancer treatment you received and when you received it, they would be able to make the proper diagnosis and start antibiotic treatment if necessary. To summarize, your cancer treatment puts you at a higher risk for infection. Keep a thermometer at home to check your temperature if you feel unwell. A fever is a temperature of 38.3 degrees Celsius or higher at any time, or if your temperature is 38 degrees Celsius or higher for one hour or more. Go to the emergency if you suspect you have a fever. Do you have any questions about this information? Please pause the video and take a moment to write them down right now.